Okay, so let's look at this pack process. How does this pack process work? When the session starts, the server is going to send over its AID. Now, the AID is going to be received by the client. The client is going to use the AID to choose the pack, basically the pack key, based on the AID it received. So remember how we said that we got to exchange packs in the beginning, right? Everybody has to exchange packs in the beginning using some other process, MS Chap, whatever it is you're using. I'm going to receive this AID. The server is going to say, this is who I am. And then I'm going to look through my pack database. I'm going to say, ah, this is the pack key for that particular server. Then I'm going to set, send out the opaque. Remember, the opaque has the ID, the duration, all that information we talked about uh, in pack creation. The pack opaque is the pack key, the client user ID. So it tells them what I am, and then the key lifetime. So let's go and take a look. The AID came in. I know who sent that AID. Once that AID comes in, I look in my pack database, I pull out the key that I want, and I create a pack opaque. The pack opaque is my ID, the pack key. So this is dropped down into here. The key, what else? The duration in which this key is valid. So I'm basically sending my key, right? So the client sends its pack opaque to the server. The, the server itself decrypts the pack key, looks at the lifetime of the pack opaque using the master key from its AID. Remember, the server only has the master key. So this pack key matches the master key. If we were to apply this to our, our, our public key infrastructure, which this is not, our terms would be, this would be the public key, and this would be the private key. But it's not, right? We're not using a public key infrastructure. That's just kind of, if we were, we were comparing the two, that's what it would be like. Let me erase these terms so they don't get stuck in your head. Now the server and client possess the PAC key as a shared secret to establish our, our encryption. We use the keys to send things back and forth now. The PAC key is used. 